Alrighty, so I just got my Sayo. It came in the mail today, and I wanted to do a an unboxing video to show everybody what I got. Kickstarter funded. I've been waiting a long time for this little baby. We'll see here in a second. And there we go. Now, I suppose I should read the directions. <laughs> so it looks like. Oh, it's already broken. Oh, it's got a little magnet in there. Kind of keeps it centered. So you can put your sample in there, not have any light getting in the way of your detection, I would imagine. Another little piece, kind of like a little sun shield, maybe. I imagine. Ah, some stickers for the computer. Nice. And a big thank you. Let's see. Safety regulatory, yeah, yeah, yeah. And FCC compliance. Don't change your device. We will hunt you down. <clears throat> and let's see how to use it. So. Charge it for two hours or until the ch charging LED turns green. I've already downloaded the app. Turn on the sail by pressing the large white button for one second or until the ring flashes blue. Open the app. Sync it via your Bluetooth connection. All right, well. Let's um, hmm. that come, does that come out of there? Oh, yeah, it does. Okay, oh, there it is. So that's the actual, yeah, let's see, get it in light a little bit better. That's the actual sensor end of it. Goes in there. Seems to suck back in there. Maybe some kind of some more use of magnets, maybe. And back in there we see white screen. I think that's what it's talking about for calibration. Flip it over. Calibrating. And the little guys for scanning. All right, so obviously we're not going to wait for two hours because we want to get to playing. All right, turns on and 
flashing ring. Let's see what the uh, the app does here. All right, seems like your first time. Yes, I do. Hey, I want to connect to that one. Hello. Okay. Oh, it's kind of anticlimactic. <laughs> hundred percent battery, hundred percent calibrating. Let's calibrate. Should be in the cover with the black part facing down. Make sure it's in its original cover. Calibrate. Okay, so it turns nice little white there. And now flip it over, should be facing out, and you're ready to scan. Okay, so. Flip it over like that. Little shield there. And let's see. Maybe start here. Oh, it's empty. Test model. New sample. Enter metadata. Oh, I suppose so. I can enter. Let's see, this is going to be a pull. A potato. Oh. Do I, I have a name and a different? All right, let me. Numerical attributes, no idea. All right. And what else do we do next? Start scanning. Uh oh, I think I turned it off. Yeah, there's a red X at the top there saying it's not. Okay, now it's synced. Can I just, okay, just a little hit, don't hold it too long. <clears throat> Creating spectrum. I wonder if I have to hold it down this whole time or hold it against the potato. I should read it more. Okay. That's probably a pretty good bet that we have a sample. Scan, comp uh, scan sample at least three times. All right. Let's do that. We'll do that a little. I wonder if the one spot you should stay in the one spot. Probably should have. But let's go ahead. Get more dirt. <clears throat> Creating spectrum. Okay. Good. And scan it again. It was a little faster that time. Okay. Scan it again. Should we just do one more time? Alright. So. Normalized. Both. Processed. Alright. Done. Okay. So I've got a whole bunch of different scans here, obviously, of the potato. I should probably have labeled it the kind of potato. This is a, a Yukon Gold potato. So I might have to go down in the back and change that. Oh. 
Apparently, this one's closed. Uh oh. Oh, no, no good at all. The app, the app crashed. Where, the, where was that? Okay. <clears throat> You see it started flashing saying it's not connected to anything connected right back up again so that was good my data collections Minimized. well I don't know much about what this means so I'm gonna have to do a lot of more research Brand A. Hmm. So I wonder, will I, will it? Let's see. If I just go up and scan this now, will it tell me anything about it? All right, it doesn't do that. So more reading must be necessary. Getting started. Sync both login SIO, yep. Develop a portal to access tutorial videos. I should have watched those before. I didn't see this. I didn't know about them. Now I do, so I'll go watch that. And, uh, cool. Uh-oh, it went into, like, battery save mode, maybe? Because the app quit. It's connected again. Sio is ninety three percent. Truly paired with Sio. Not that I'll have another Sio anytime soon, but it's re oh, oh hey hey he stopped that. You're a little slow there. Let's try that again. Rename. Yep. Come on. What? There we go. Eric's. Eric's style. That takes this renaming thing pretty seriously. Disconnected it and then repaired and everything. So, what if I scan at this point? Will it do anything? Scan ID. Group by. No, it didn't do anything. All right. New sample, replicate sample. So we can get another potato and scan that other potato. Add scan to an existing sample. Hmm. What if I didn't want to do a new sample? Okay, now that's all available. So I could replicate. Test object name number sample two.
Hmm. No. I think. I think this will only work scanning wise when it says it on the screen that's ready to scan. That erased everything. All right, so I'm gonna go uh, watch some videos and do some more research on it, um, and I will make another video when I have something more to share with you guys. Thanks.